I'm Allison Smith. Ava Perron was beautiful, talented, and powerful. A woman who rose to stardom against the violent backdrop of Argentinian politics. Her death at age 33 added to her allure. In Argentina today, she remains a beloved icon to millions, or a symbol of corruption, a woman who traded sex for power. Then came the play that became an international sensation, selling Evita as more of a material girl. Cue Madonna and cue up a controversy over history, Hollywood's right to interpret it, and the role of sexy sirens. We couldn't resist. In a moment, we'll hear the buzz from L.A., an Argentinian account of the battle, and we'll check in with a Peron biographer. But first, the scandal. It's been a decade since British composer Andrew Lloyd Webber first made plans to turn his controversial musical into a Hollywood movie. It chronicles the short, tumultuous life of Eva Duarte Perón, second wife of Argentinian dictator Juan Perón. In the musical, she's portrayed as a corrupt egomaniac, a woman who sleeps her way to the top. It's very hard to be objective about Argentinian history because you're either for her or against her. But I think it will be balanced, and I think it will be, uh, it'll be strong. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a musical film, you know, it's a contemporary opera in that regard. I think it will be very original. Is Evita Perón a saint or a sinner? You could ask the same about the woman portraying her, Madonna. Although in Argentina, the consensus seems to be hate. Are you ready to party? Her detractors say she's wrong for the part, vulgar, disrespectful. I know people say all kinds of things about me. And the worry is that Madonna's controversial career and gritty sexuality will taint the memory of someone who many Argentinians call a saint. Madonna responded to those charges. Evita was a remarkable woman, and I have an enormous amount of respect and admiration for her. The rest of the cast, which includes Spanish actor Antonio Banderas and British actor Jonathan Price, rallied around the beleaguered star. Welcome back. We're examining Hollywood and history, specifically the controversy over the making of Evita, a movie starring Madonna in Argentina. The casting is controversial and so is the history. With me now from White River Junction, Vermont, is Marisa Navarro. She's a professor of history and a chair of the Latin American Studies program at Dartmouth College in New Hampshire. She's written a biography of Ava Perón. So, Ms. Navarro, is she a saint or is she a sinner? Well, I, I refuse to answer that question <laughs> precisely because otherwise, you know, you fall into the, into the debate. And I think that she was a human being, a very exceptional human being, with enormous mistakes, who made enor enormous mistakes, and uh, who was an important political figure in Argentina, and who, because she began, she became active politically at a time in which women were not expected to participate in the public in the public sphere became enormously controversial to this day that's one issue mm -hmm. that and the other thing is what happens with the script of the movie i.e what happened what kind of a portrayal do you have in the movie that is going to be filmed in argentina i think that those are two different issues and they're mixed, and that's one of the problems. So do you think the controversy is because of the portrayal rather than the kind of person that she was? Yes, but I think that the, 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 the movie, the, if, you see, I, I haven't seen the script, but if the script of the movie is based on the script of, uh, of the musical, then you have a, a horrible creature. You have a, a young woman, a sort of, you have a, a country bumpkin who goes to Buenos Aires, who sleeps all the way to the top, who, mani who is more intelligent than anybody in Argentina would appear, who manages to get one of her lovers into the presidency, and from then on goes on, goes on to manipulate everybody in Argentina, and then becomes a saint. It's a, it's a maqueta, it's a, a caricature of a human being. And it's a caricature which has some very important political foundations. How much of, of what is called Peronism in, in Argentina is based on her as opposed to her husband? No, uh, I mean, there, there would not
not have been Peronism without Peron. She shaped, she had to shape it once Peron comes to power. But there are social and political reasons that explain the rise to power of Peron. What, what do you think it's essential for us to know about Peronism? Well, that it was a, a, a populist movement, that it was a movement that uh, tried try to incorporate working classes and sectors of the middle classes which had been excluded from the political system into the political system, that it was demagogic at times, but it did give, it, uh, it did seek to, re, to, 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 to seek, it, it did seek to uh, 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 carry out the policies of income redistribution, which gave Peron the support of large sectors of the population, in particular in the working class. Why do you think Eva Peron has now become such, a, almost like a mythical figure? Well, she, she became a controversial figure shortly after, after she, her relationship with Peron became public. First of all, she lived with him at a moment in which having mistresses was common, but hiding them was more common for the military mm -hmm. or for any gentleman. And Peron did not hide her, and she did not hide herself. Therefore, she exhibited herself in the spheres of power with him, and he exhibited himself as well with her. And uh, so there, and this was a very, this was a no-no in Argentina. She was an actress, and, and, she, and, 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 and acting was not a, a, an acceptable profession for middle-class persons, let's say. It was very good for upward mobility, upward mobility as it has been in this country, for example. Mm -hmm. But there, at that moment, it indicated that the social origins of Evita were not particularly good. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if you have social origins questionable, the life of an actress which, which spelled out something close to looseness, but it's not clear how much. And therefore, and then becoming, in fact, the mistress of the most important political figure in Argentina, you've got a scenario for trouble. And then he has the, 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 the audacity of marrying her. And therefore, all the, the tongues that wagged around her found themselves astonished, astonished because she became overnight the first lady of Argentina, an actress. Of, of dubious social background. Given, given now the advantage of, of some time, how yes. do you think she changed Argentina? Well, I think that it, she did a very important thing once, once Peron came to power, and because he came to power without the vote of women, could, women could not vote, women could not have a political role, Evita could not have a political role the first years he was in power because women were disenfranchised. But once they get the franchise, what she does is to organize women politically. And she creates a political party which responds specifically to her. Now she responds to Peron and she organizes women for the following election. And in fact, the women voted in larger quantities for Peron than men did. So, I mean, she becomes a very important political a political uh, uh, um, uh, ally of Peron. How is she now invoked in political life in Argentina? Well, it's very interesting because the, 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 you see, the, the Peronistas have sanctified her. They have created this, 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 this figure who is larger than life, more spiritual than anybody, cleaner than anybody, more dedicated, more uh, the mother of all Argentines, when in fact she has no children. I mean, she is a, 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 an icon, a real icon, as you, as you said at the beginning of the program. And therefore, nothing wrong can be said about her. Ms. Navarro, thank, yes. you, thank you very much for your insight. I'm sorry we're out of time. I've enjoyed speaking with you. All right, thank you. Please stay with us. I'll be back in a moment with some closing notes.